Hey YouTube, this is my video review of the Rustlers pub menu chicken and stuffing mayo. Um, uh, regular viewers of my channel uh, would have seen a couple of days ago um, the other item from this new Rustlers pub menu uh, which was a beef and uh, pepper burger. Um, which I, which I thought was was pretty good, um, but a little bit a little bit small on the small side, um, as you know the, all the Russell stuff seems to be sort of shrinking slowly in size over the you know last few years I've been doing the channel. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the second item I found. Um, I, I found this in the in the co-op on the same day, as you can see, uh, limited edition, uh, one pound in that corner there. Um, uh, this one is 139 grams, which a little bit interesting is, is I think the other one was 133, and the, the, the chicken ones are normally smaller than the beef ones, so I'm thinking maybe the sauce on this isn't going to be as good as the other one, I don't know, because obviously the chicken maybe costs a, bit, a little bit more than the sort of the, the beef to, to uh, manufacture, so that's why the chicken sandwiches are normally a little bit smaller than the beef ones, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how, how that goes. Um, but yeah, as I say, the other the, uh, the one I did a couple of days ago was was okay. I gave that three and a half stars. Um, I'm say this is sort of I'm quite interested to to um, taste it. I mean, we all you know people who've had the rustler chicken sandwich before know what it's going to be like. It's basically the stuffing mayo. I really want to try. Uh, you yeah, say so one pound there. This is a normal rustler box um, on the, on the back. Um, the Russell's chicken burger, which basically, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but it says um, it's using the finest quality chicken breast meat, which is flame grilled to deliver a delicious, tasty burger every time. Um, this is um, microwave for a little bit longer than the other one, I think it says 90 seconds on there. Um, as, it, as, as the same as the, the one I did a couple of days ago, the box is sort of, you know, rat, the product's rattling around the box, there's a lot of space. I, st I still would. I don't know if it's just me. A few comments on the, the other video said it's so you think you're getting a bigger burger, but I, I don't know. When I look in there, I don't, that might sort of put me off. I don't know if it was a smaller box and the the, the burger and the bun and everything was sort of tight up inside there. I don't know. I mean, I, for me, that would look a little bit better. Um, but anyway, I'm going to um, cook this up, and uh, when I come back, I'll let you know what it looks like. Right, welcome back. Uh, I've just um, cooked this uh, chicken sandwich up in the microwave and gave it a minute and a half um, as it as, um, advertised on the box. And as I always do with say, always do uh, with my sandwiches, uh, Russell sandwiches, just cook the bun separately. People will say about putting the, the, the bun in the toaster. My toaster is so terrible, I can't even fit the bun in there. So, <laughs> so I always just warm up in the microwave. Um, you know, for about thirty seconds, that sort of takes the um, the, the, the sort of chill from the fridge off them. Um, but anyway, um, here it here it is. Um, here's a warmed up sandwich. I've added cheese again. I wasn't going to do it this time, but I decided, you know, as a fair comparison to the um, beef and pepper burger I did the other day, um, I thought I'd add, add my own cheese to it. So here we go, and uh, using the cheese there, and once again, absolutely loads of sauce on there. And that's really good. And the sauce packet again, full up to the brim, and it covers the whole burger. I mean, that's, that's all you need. I mean, you don't need to add any of your own ketchup or I don't know mustard or mayo or anything. You've got everything you need right there in the pack, which I'm, which I'm quite impressed with these last couple of products from Rusters. Um, what I what I did smell straight away as I opened the the the, the sauce packet was that really strong stuffing smell. Um, just as sort of, you sort of take, if you cook proper stuffing in the oven or something, you take it out of the oven, you get that sort of smell straight away. Um, that's original. That's sort of really what hit me as soon as I opened the packet. So that's always a good sign. Um, just a little bit hot on the underside there as well. Um, what I also did notice that um, <clears throat> this the this, there's not many sort of voids. That's still boiling hot. Sorry, there's there's not still many there's not many voids. Um, in the in the the, um, the sandwich either there's not there's not many gaps in between the sandwich and, and the edge of the bun so I don't know if they've made the the chicken the burgers a little bit bigger or they're a little bit thinner and spread out I mean the last one I had I think if I remember rightly there was a lot of sort of gaps around the edge where you were getting bun and not a lot of chicken sandwich they've obviously made a, a couple of improvements there so I'm um, I'm quite interested to see what this tastes like so I'm going to pause you and set you down and uh, when I come back I'll let you know if it's any good. 
Right, welcome back. Um, as you can see there, I've just taken um, you know half the burger out there, taken a few few bites out of that. Uh, just to look inside there. Um, overall, um, you know, overall um, final impressions of this are pretty good. Um, pretty good. I really actually like that. I probably prefer this one um, to the beef and pepper I did the other day. Um, the sauce is really nice. It, it goes with the chicken so well. Um, this, they, these two, they just really work together. I mean, the rustler sauce in previous reviews has been a little bit ropey, but this really does make the burger, I think, or the, 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 sort of the chicken burger. I mean, um, if they could bottle this and sell it, I would I'd definitely buy it. I'd definitely buy that. It does. It really does help, help this along. Um, they're pretty much the same bun as the other day. I mean, it's fairly sort of soft at the bottom. The bun still had gone a little bit soggy. I think it was quite sort of thin compared to the top bun, but I, I don't know. I think it's just a standard sort of rustler bun. Um, yeah, the uh, chicken patty was um, actually better than the, the last ch chicken burger I had from Rustler, so maybe they've changed it. I, I don't know. It just seemed a little less tough and a little bit, le little, little bit less chewy than the previous one I had. You know, um, obviously it's not as good as something you may be buying a restaurant or something but this is a pound so what to expect i mean yeah so um quite quite impressed with this um for for a pound um with the cheeses but you don't, you don't get the cheese that's the only thing i mean would i add the cheese again maybe not i, I don't know maybe i wouldn't but that it added a little bit sort of a little bit extra sort of uh, moisture to it because sometimes this chicken sandwich can be a little bit dry but um but anyway for a pound um i'd probably give that a four out of five which is a pretty good price for a Rustler burger and it's 139 grams for a pound again you can probably get a quarter pounder which is nearing 200 grams for about a pound but if you see these um in the supermarket or somewhere you know you manage to um, track them down or anything I would um, definitely recommend you grab them if you if you like this sort of thing if this is um, you know maybe like a guilty pleasure of yours which it seems to be no one ever admits to eating any of this stuff but uh, if you do um, you know, get yourself down to one of your local supermarkets and see if you can find these because, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting taste from Russell's. At least they're trying something new. Um, I thought they sort of lost a little bit of momentum. They, I don't know, they were running out of ideas maybe a sort of year or so ago. But um, now they've, they've come back with this and, um, yeah, quite impressed with it. Uh, so that's my um, quick video review. Uh, of the Rustler's pub menu chicken and stuffing mayo. I've given that a 4 out of 5 star rating. And I'll see you later.